Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Greetings to you all in the precious name of our living Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Shall we pray? Our gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank thee, Lord, for this blessed opportunity you have granted each and every one of us. And these children, along with me and with my brother, Brother Cho Madhu, thanking thee for the grace you have given us to meditate upon your word each passing day. Thank you, Lord, for thine divine presence. Thank you, Lord, for let, let losing your uh, blessing upon us, releasing your blessing upon us. Lord, and helping us to be set free, my God, from every sin, Lord, which separates us from you. In Jesus' name, we plead thee that you would be merciful to us at all times. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Together, each and every one of you join with us in saying, Amen. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, let us uh, look into the word of God. The man of God writes in Hebrews 10, 22. In chapter 10, verse 22. Let us draw near with the true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Here he speaks about a heart which is true to God, to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, by having full assurance in faith. The faith in Jesus Christ for the redemption he brought unto you and unto me, the whole mankind, through his death and through his resurrection from the dead. Our greater hope and our great joy is that we are going to see a Lord face to face one day. Here he speaks about the very blood of our Lord Jesus Christ which was shed for us to cleanse us, his invaluable blood which was shed for us upon the cross. And our Lord Jesus Christ in whom there was no sin but yet he became sin for us to make us to have peace with God the Father, the greatest reconciliation he brought through his name with the Father God. Now here, this man of God, being led by the Holy Spirit, he writes a very valuable word. Having your heart sprinkled from an evil conscience. That is a total transformation in our life. Totally out of the evil hold. And we and our inner man and our outward man to be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and be made pure. And we being made fit to receive the heavenly promise, which is eternal life, which we would have in Christ Jesus with him, with Father God in heaven forever. Here we find when he speaks about a full assurance of faith. Are you prepared for that? Are you weak in faith? Lay a question to yourself. There are times when you wavered. There are times when you couldn't stand firm in making peace with the Father God. In Jesus' name. You have to read how God made Moses his servant. The sacrifices which was being made in the Old Testament period. We can very well find the sacrifice through which the blood was sprinkled. And how the blood of that lamb has to be shed. And how a sin offering, peace offering, thanksgiving offerings. There are various offerings with which we have to seek the presence of our living God, Jehovah. But yet sin was continuing. And so we know how beautifully salvation was being executed for our sakes. By God sending his beloved son 
our Savior Jesus Christ, wherein we know the salvation which was granted unto you and unto me. Brothers and sisters, you have to for sure read Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, especially have a quick reading about these in Exodus, of course, more in Numbers, more how chapter 19, you can read the first 10 verses. The sacrifice which has to be brought. And also how a priest has to cleanse himself. When he comes to the presence of God, by cleaning himself, keeping himself pure, so that he could be able to intercede on behalf of all the people who have seeked the presence of God. And once for all, we find the blood of Jesus Christ, which was shed for us. No more sacrifices could cleanse or clean us to make peace with God. It is only through his beloved son, through whom the total redemption for our sins, saving us from our sins, the blood of Jesus was shed for all generations. And we are here standing under the blood of Jesus Christ to take the confirmation that we believe in Father God, the creator, maker of heaven and earth. We need to believe that right now that the blood of Jesus, which was shed for me, is ready to cleanse me from all my filth and to set me free from eternal damnation from all filthiness to give me a true purity. We have to remember the beautiful promise in the book of John, chapter 4, our Lord Jesus Christ speaking about it in 23 and 24. The hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Togetherness we find. Here Jesus is speaking about the togetherness and the day which is going to come. When all the people of God will be brought in one place and we find in 24, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Are you here in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ with a total preparation in your heart? Brothers and sisters, if you could look into 10, as we already read earlier in Hebrews 10, verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. And as I said, please make a note of Numbers chapter 19 and read from verse 1. But I read from verse 2 here. Of course, when God began to speak through Moses and unto Aaron, and so it goes. This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer with a spot, wherein is no blemish upon which never came a yoke. And you shall give her unto Elias the priest, that he may bring forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face. And Elias the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times. And one shall burn the heifer in his sight, a skin and a flesh and a blood with a tongue shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood and his hop and scarlet and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes and he shall bathe his flesh in water. And afterward he shall come into the camp and the priest shall be unclean until the even. And he that burneth her shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his flesh in water and shall be unclean until the even. And a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer and lay them up without the camp in a clean place and it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. It is a purification for sin. This is what I told you about, about the salvation 
Once for all, no more sacrifices of animals. No more peace offering through that, but once for all, the blood of Jesus Christ and his very death and his very resurrection is there unto all eternity for all mankind. If his coming is yet to be delayed, it shall be forever, even unto the coming generations. So is our lives being so much blessed and meaningful. We need to realize the beautiful calling we have into the triune God. My brothers and sisters, are you prepared to have a full assurance of faith in Jesus Christ? Here to believe and to say, Lord, you have cleansed me with your precious blood and you sprinkled it upon me that I would be out of all the evil conscience and I am set free. I am set free. So the life in Jesus is so beautiful. And we need to come to the cross and believe that my Jesus died for me on that very day. That I am being blessed, broken, chiseled, built, and stronger again, filled with the Spirit. That I would begin my journey from the cross in Jesus Christ through his death and resurrection. May his precious blood cover us and cleanse us from all our filthiness. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank thee, Lord, for this precious time you've given us. We believe in you, that you have brought us into total unity, that we would know that you have called us and you made us pure and clean. Thank you, Lord. May, your, may the precious blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant us a true meaning for our living. And for our existence that we may walk worthy in your sight and make you happy. In Jesus' name we plead. Thank you, Lord, for the full assurance of faith in Jesus' name which you have confirmed in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. It is such a joy to bring the word of God as my brother, Brother Cho Madhu, and myself, Jesse Rina. We bring the word of God and every night during this uh, Lenten season, it will be Indian time night from 9 o'clock. And we will be switching over to another two Indian languages. God bless you and we continue to uphold you in our prayers and praise God.